This is Nonfiction Radio. Later. Nonfiction <laughs> Radio, DJ Wala, Special K here. We got the single. Let's talk about this single we have in the system already. What's going on? All right, so the single's called Go Time. So it's out on Nonfiction Radio. Thank y'all for like, thank y'all for like playing this shit. Thank y'all for playing this shit. Uh, Apple Music. Spotify, Tidal, SoundCloud, SpeshK.com, on SpeshK.com. Your grandmother's probably listening to it. Uh, your uncle's probably drinking Henny and listening to it. So you should probably listen to it, too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the third single off of uh, the upcoming album, 27 Nowhere. Hashtag 27, hashtag Nowhere, hashtag SpeshK Music. Yeah, it's it's a uh, go time. It's a record that I put together about uh, a year ago. I actually wrote the lyrics in Cali, um, and I was like, "Yo, I'm in California. Um, I'm just taking the time off from being in Jersey." But I had Jersey on my mind, so the first lines goes "NJ to the death." You know what I'm saying? Because this is where we're from. Like, and it's crazy. Like, people say they put on for Jersey, and they do. But like, do you really put on for Jersey? Do you really take the 59? Do you really take the 27? Did, did you do the production on that one? Yes, yes. Oh, shout out to Corey Burrell. My man's out in Queens. Um, that track took a long time to get to how it sound like that. Why? Um, I started it over a year ago. Uh, just even on the beat. I uh, had the beat. I played it for him. Uh, he was like, yo, I'm fucking with this. So... He sent me some shit back, and I was like, yo, I'm fucking with what you did with it. So then we went up to Queens. Uh, we recorded it at his spot. We put it all together, and then the words was already there, but we just wanted it to sound. I'm a product guy. I'm an art guy. So we wanted it to sound good. You know what I'm saying? We wanted, if, if, you, didn't, if you were in a different country and you didn't understand a lick of English, you'd be like, yo, that shit knocks. Period. Is shit. That like Usually, it go two ways. I make a beat. Let the beat rock, come back, do some other shit, or make a beat, and the words will just come on the spot. And I'll just make the whole song and like. A Has day. there ever been a situation where you got the words and you say, I just gotta get the right beat behind this? Has that ever Um happened? Nah Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be days I'll just be freestyling in my head and I'm like, oh, I'll write this down. I gotta write this down, I write it down, and then I'm like, oh shit. What I'm saying matches good with this beat. So there's multiple ways that don't ever want to limit the ways of creativity. One of the other singles, um, Chain Gang, worked out in the way you just listed, um, where I had these words, and it was a very, it's like racially geared, and it's like one of those political tracks. Um, and this was around the time of like the Trayvon shooting and all of like the, all of like the social injustice. And yeah, so I was like, yo, I have all these thoughts in my head. And um, I was listening to the Sam Cooke beat uh, the Sam Cooke song called Chain Gang and then like the representation of you like, know about Sam Cooke man come on man like like you know, a lot of people don't know about Sam Cooke come on man who doesn't know about Sam yo you be surprised <laughs> you be 27 surprised. why is it called 27 because I seen you wrote 27 in, in the, num- the, the Roman numerals I'm like yeah. yo why, is, why has he got why he got me trying to figure out what number this is why is this nigga got me doing math <laughs> so, like, so why 27 so um, I'm 27 years old so my previous album was uh, 25 I was 25 when it when the recording process and when it dropped started and the previous one before that was called 23 and um it's just chronicles it's just like chronicles of life and it's paying homage to uh, jay-z life and times of sean mm-hmm. carter volume one volume two volume three wayne did the same thing you know what i'm saying the carter one carter two Car- carter three and carter four carter hopefully carter five comes out of like black suburbia but it's not even a suburb because it's like we don't know what to call ourselves we have no identity, but we have all of it in one spot. We got immigrants. We got we got people who had money. We got people who don't come from money. We got we got niggas who's on Section Eight. We got all of these things, and all of these things are all within the state of New Jersey, and these are all within the the the, the country. So when I say I'm putting on for Jersey, I'm saying that I identify and I understand these things that people come from, and I want to address them, and that's really putting on. If you be like, yo. Not just empathize or I sympathize, but I feel you. You know what I'm saying? If you could feel somebody, then how can you say you you're not putting on for them? Mm-hmm. Disparity you know is crazy. We like are we're like the fifth most wealthiest state in the union, but the poverty rate is crazy. Um, because no one cares about like all of the lives outside of of uh of like the white lives in New Jersey. Um, our tax codes are fucked up. So corporations make mad bread for the state, but the citizens don't, the, the residents don't see it. And who are the residents? The niggas who work at the 
the Budweiser factory that is getting laid off, but Budweiser is making in like what? Like one billions. Point, billions a year. They billions. got super they, they tied in with the Super Bowl. Come on. Billions. Bro. This is nonfiction radio.